Having the right CRM is the difference between things running like a well-oiled machine or your business turning into a huge mess. In this video, we're comparing two popular CRM platforms, Brevo and HubSpot. We'll cover some of their features, pricing, and user reviews. Let's start with HubSpot, which we've got a bunch of videos on, so I'm gonna drop those links in the description below. Now you can use their CRM for free, which is pretty cool. However, there are limitations to how many forms you can create and how many emails you can send. Everything is going to have the HubSpot branding on it and you can't use custom domains. We've got a video on HubSpot's CRM with a lot more detail and that link is below. Where HubSpot really excels is that the CRM is just one part of it. It's got hubs for marketing, sales, customer service, operations, and even commerce. Plus you can integrate it with over a thousand other tools and software. The downside, the price. Once you outgrow the free plan, you could easily end up spending tens of thousands of dollars a year to fully leverage HubSpot. The breakdown of their pricing structure is a little complicated. For businesses and enterprise, they have two plans available, professional and enterprise, costing about $1,800 a month and $5,000 a month respectively. For individuals and small teams, there's a starter plan and the professional plan that I mentioned just a moment ago. Starter is only available for new customers and it's about $50 a month. If you wanna learn more about HubSpot's pricing, check out the video that I've linked to below. In a nutshell, HubSpot might be a good fit for bigger companies with bigger budgets. However, if you only need a CRM and don't plan to use the other hubs, or if you're on a strict budget, this very likely won't be the perfect fit for you. The Brevo CRM is part of the overall marketing platform, which includes email marketing, SMS campaigns, WhatsApp campaigns, landing pages, Facebook ads, and sign-up forms. You can create beautiful emails, forms, and landing pages, and make use of all of the analytics and metrics that Brevo provides. Let's talk about pricing. Like HubSpot, there is a forever free plan. With Brevo's free plan, you can send up to 300 emails a day. After that, you have the starter and business plans, which are $25 and $65 a month respectively. What makes Brevo unique is that, whereas most CRMs charge per contact, Brevo bases its pricing on the number of emails that you send. Once you need to upgrade to one of the paid plans, this can cost a lot depending on the velocity of your emails. For instance, if a person enters one of your automations and you take them through a journey of 10 or 15 emails, that's what you're being charged for, those 10 to 15 emails, not the one person. This means that depending on how many emails you're sending, you could blow through your email marketing budget fast. What are the users saying? Well, Bravo has 671 reviews and four and a half out of five stars on G2 and 2,542 reviews and eight out of 10 stars on Trust Radius. Customers say that they love the user interface because it's very intuitive and Bravo's customer support has a great reputation as well. However, the biggest complaint that I'm seeing is the price. People want more options with the pricing available and there are even complaints that it's gotten more expensive over time, but with fewer features. HubSpot has about 10,500 reviews and 4.4 out of five stars on G2 and 4,277 reviews and eight and a half out of 10 stars on Trust Radius. So a much bigger presence than Brevo. Users love the abundance of integrations available, and for those who are using most or all of HubSpot's features, they enjoy how it serves as a one-stop shop for sales, marketing, and so on. However, the most common complaint is, maybe ironically, the integrations, in the sense that they're tricky to set up, they don't always work, and sometimes they're just not reliable. People have trouble with the landing pages in particular as well. So it seems like the biggest drawback is technical glitches and problems with the functionality. Although pricing is not far down on the list of complaints. Now that we've covered both Brevo and HubSpot, how can you pick the right choice for you? Well, a lot of it's going to come down to your budget and what you're willing to spend. Yes, with both platforms, you can start for free. But if you're trying to scale your email marketing, plan to upgrade. From there, keep in mind that Brevo charges differently based on the number of emails you send. You also need to consider exactly what you need your CRM to do. If you're looking for something super expansive and all-encompassing, 
HubSpot is going to give you more, especially when it comes to integrations. But if you're not going to really dive deep into HubSpot, it's probably not worth the expense. I feel like we're going in circles here. We've been talking about how HubSpot and Brevo are strong contenders in the CRM game, but guess what? There's another underdog that's been quietly outshining them, and that's Engage Bay. Sure, HubSpot and Brevo have their merits, but when you factor in the price, Engage Bay emerges as the clear winner. It's not just good for what it offers, it's exceptional for its affordability. Engage Bay gives you the best of both worlds, the CRM expertise of HubSpot and the ease of use you'd find in Brevo, but it doesn't stop there. It's an all-in-one solution covering CRM, email marketing, marketing automation, and customer support all in one budget-friendly package. HubSpot might be more than you need, Brevo might not be enough. Find something in the middle for a better cost. You can sign up for EngageBay for free and you can use it for free forever. So I will leave the link below where you can check it out and take it for a spin. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you're still here, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss our new content. And we'll see you next time.